Shalom, this is Nathan Yala from the Holland Camp. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahashem, or Kakodash. That belongs to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well, among many other things. And peace and salutations to the elect that scatter abroad in the four winds of earth, out there in the highways, ahead, just and pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, so this article right here, all right, is showing you that the Lord is pretty much putting, uh, what is it, um, What does the scripture say? Um, putting his hooks into Russia's mouth, you know, pulling him into war. All right, because as his title says, NATO promises to keep expanding despite Russian objections. Okay. Um, so the tensions are rising. Okay. And, you know, it's going to ultimately lead to this uh, Third World War, man. Okay. NATO expansion will continue whether Russia likes it or not. The U.S.-led bloc's Security General Jens Stoltenberg has declared, insisting that despite Moscow's objections, his organization does not pose a threat. And that's funny as hell. They say that it doesn't pose a threat, but yet with Russia were to do the same thing as they, as they are, they will be deemed uh, um, uh, a threat, okay? Speaking at a press conference on Thursday, Stolenberg addresses possibly of Ukrainian membership, an outcome that Keith has pushed for, but Russia President Val uh, Vladimir Putin as described as a red line, you see. You know, there's a there's a point that you, you know, you're pushing. And, you know, once you pass that, you know, things can happen. You know, it's a, you invading somebody's space can provoke a fight. Okay. The ex-Norwegian uh, prime minister said that whether Ukraine joins NATO is up to the bloc's member state and its leadership and that Moscow shouldn't have input into the, the, the decisions lucky he also uh, emphasized that NATO is already supporting the Eastern European nation military <laughs> um, some NATO members furious with uh, Biden media NATO countries are already training Ukrainian troops and consulting with them, he explained. They are conducting joint exercises and providing military supplies and technology. The alliance's support for Ukraine is not a threat to Russia. Stolenberg added that a possible partnership with Ukraine will be the chief item on the agenda at the uh, upcoming NATO summit in Madrid, Madrid in June 2022. On the subject, hey, the year 2022 is going to be one hell of a year, man. You know, we're going to have to get ready for that. On the subject to whether the bloc would keep growing, he said, NATO is continuing the process of expansion. We already took Montenegro and North uh, Macedonia, regardless of Russia's protest. He promises, he promised that NATO would not look to compromise with Moscow, which has demanded that the bloc rethink a promise it made in 2008 to induct Ukraine and Georgia in time. The official insi uh, insisted that he wants to have subs uh, substantive dialogue with Russia, the uh, Kremlin, however, has said that this has been uh, practically impossible since NATO expelled a group of Russian diplomats from Brussels in, the, in October, effectively closing the Moscow's permanent, uh, permanent mission with the alliance following a virtual meeting with putin earlier this month u.s president joe biden called 
for talks to ease tension between NATO and Russia. Bloomberg reports reported that several Eastern European members of the bloc were uneasy with Biden's proposal, fearing that the American leader was prepared to make, uh, what is that word, uh, cons- concessions that would put curbs on NATO's freedom of movement, in the words of any anonymous diplomat it quoted. All right, what the fuck is this? Fucking whatever. Demas. Uh, yeah, so you can see that these, you know, this is uh, causing tension. All right. So we're going to start it off in um, Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Okay. And that's what we see going on right now. Okay. Throughout the four, uh, throughout the different parts of this world. Okay, we see tensions rising, okay, and it's going to lead to a third world war, which is one of the main rumors, okay, but it's happening, all right? See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So this is this is not the end. This is pretty much the beginning of, you know, troubles, which I'm going to read as well, okay? But it says that we are not to be troubled, Okay. And those that are not supposed to be troubled is, are the ones that are uh, getting the understanding of these scriptures, okay? Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. We are not to be troubled. Why? Because, you know, this wicked kingdom that we're in, you know, is, is falling. This whole system, everything is crumbling, okay? And, and we're still in captivity, okay? You know, and uh, scriptures say... Um, um, was it Micah 2 and 10? It says, uh, depart for this is not our rest. Okay. We should be troubled that we are continuing under this double. All right. But the fact that this is happening, okay, we are not to be troubled because all these prophecies need to come to pass in order for the end to come. Okay. The end has manifested, but the end is not yet. Meaning this is just the beginning. Okay. For nation shall rise against nation, which shall um, the race uh, race riots, okay. Now, when it's talking about race riots, it's not going to talk about you know, uh, you know, particular, you know, white versus black. Of course, that tension is rising as we see today, okay. But soon you're going to see, you know, you know, people fighting against each other, okay. All hell is going to break loose, and and kingdom against kingdom. Now that's the point that you know. That there's going to be kingdom against kingdom. And one of the kingdoms, you know, which is Esau's kingdom, he's divided against himself. But you have two um, uh, powers, okay, that are, you know, fighting against each other, which is Russia and America. Okay. And NATO is a part of, you know, uh, you know, backing up America. All right. And you see that it's, 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 tensions are, are great, man. Okay, and soon, you know, they're going to be fighting against each other. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Now, we see these things occurring throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. All these are the beginning of sorrows, right? So, uh, I'm not going to make this a long video. I'm just going to make it real quick. Was it 38 or 28? Let me see. This is Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 1. And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog and the land of Magog, which is Russia today. And uh, the chief prince of Meshach and Tabor, and prophesy against it, against him, and saying, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put uh, hooks into thy jaws. And that's what you see going on right now. You know, you see that, you know, the tensions are rising. And um, put and said, pretty much, you, you're at the red line, man. You know, he's pretty much drawing a line in the sand. 
And if you cross it, you're going you're gonna to pretty much pay for that. Okay? And will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with the bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. And you can see that, you know, um, Russia is training these Hamites as well. You know, they're also in uh, Central Africa, you know, training up these Hamites, okay? All of them with shields and helmet, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Tugger, Tug, Tuggerma of the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. Be thou prepared, and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. And that, that's what Russia is doing, uh, being to these other smaller nations, okay? He's pretty much, he's arming them, he's protecting them, okay, backing them up, all right? So he, Russia's got allies as well. Okay, it's not only America that got allies, but you got Russia that's got allies as well. And and you know what? The Lord is drawing them into war. It's not like uh, uh, Russia, you know, because Russia has been trying to avoid things. But guess what? The Lord has plans for Russia or what they're going to do, man. Okay. So that was pretty much it. You know, just a quick report. Concerning the tensions that are rising in this world, which is, or, you know, World War Three is uh, quickly ap approaching. All right. The war of Armageddon, you know. And it's it's going to be, a, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a quick war. It's not going to be a long, drawn out war like people expect. All right. You know, all these uh, countries, you know, Russia, America, Europe, China, um, India, Pakistan, North Korea, okay, I'm pretty sure Iran, <laughs> you know, um, all these different countries, okay, even the, 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 the weaker countries have ICBM missiles, man, okay, and guess what, there's going to be a point that tensions are going to rise in the war that they're going to push that red shiny button, as you always see in these movies, and you're going to see these ICBM missiles being shot forth. Okay, which is going to lead to the destruction of America. Okay, America is known as Babylon the Great and the scriptures. And it's going to be destroyed by what? By fire. Okay, which has not happened yet. Okay, so this 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 is one of a uh, prophecy that we need to also keep an eye on. All right, because hey, it needs to be fulfilled. You know, and we need to speak upon it and warn the people. About what's going on. All right. So watch and pray that you don't fall into temptation. All right. Just understand that the end is nigh. Okay. The Lord is, is about to return to redeem his elect. All right. Uh, which is throughout the four corners of earth, the one third in America, an innumerable multitude. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, or Kakwadash, double on city apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule well, among many other things. Peace of salutation to the elect that is scattered around the four winds. Shalom.